As long as the person is attached to his lusts and desires, so he is disconnected from the Creator. He just doesn't have faith. He sees his cup of coffee and he forgets from everything and he just desiring his coffee. He sees a beautiful woman, that's it, there is no world. He, if he forgot his wife, so for sure he forgot the Kadosh Baruch already, so there is no doubt about that. So, corresponding to the level of lusts and desires, that's how much he forgets Hashem Barach. So, when a person he remembers Hashem Barach, so he is praying to Hashem Barach. If you believe that HaKadosh Baruch Hu can help you, so you're going to pray to him. If you don't think about him and he's not crossing your mind when you need something, so you're never going to pray to him for a salvation. You're just going to turn to the one that you think that can help you. It can be your weapon, it can be your money, it can be your banker, your lawyer, your doctor, your best friend, your homie, but it will not going to be the creator. Why it will not going to be the creator? Because you don't believe in him. You don't have him in your picture. So, a person that is disconnected from faith, is disconnected from the creator, so he will find himself falling into lust and desires and not able to mate in purity. It means to hold Hashem Barach while he is mating in his head. He will not going to be able to think about the Creator in that time because lust and desire is going to blind him, going to distract his thoughts to say things to himself, to increase, to hit himself, to increase the lust and the desires on himself and then he's going to drop Hashem. When a person is walking in that path, when a person is walking in that way that he doesn't think about Hashem Barach. So then he is increasing the judgments on himself. He is making angers. He is creating angers on himself. And then, at asher yoav Hashem yochiach, if HaKadosh Baruch Hu loves him, so he's going to rebuke him. But if HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave up on him, so HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to let him be as he is and just going to let him stay stuck with his lusts and desires. But when HaKadosh Baruch Hu is desiring you, he will not going to leave you alone for a second. He will rebuke you on every mistake and He's going to show you exactly how far you are and He's going to prove it to you. And it's only because that He loves you. It's only because that He cares about you. And a person needs to remember that even when he is in the lowest places of them all, if he is in the darkest places of them all, that that rebuke that I'm going through now is coming only from Hashem Yitvach. It's only because that Hashem Barach with His loving kindness is rebuking me and waking me up because I still have faith, because I still have a chance, because He got faith in me, He believes in me. He sees hope when He's looking at me. This is why He's rebuking me. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those hustles.